o'clock. Surveillance video just released by IMPD shows officers fatally shooting a suspect. This video dates back to September 1st. IMPD says detectives with the violent crime unit were tracking a suspect, James Williams. He was a suspect in a case where two people were killed over the summer. Williams also had warrants from the Indiana Department of Correction for escape and weapons offenses. We looked at the video today, we discussed it, and we've opted to show you these images up to the point of the shots being fired and warn you tonight to look away if you think this might be too difficult for you to watch. So here's how it happened. IMP detectives watched Williams walk into the marathon at 21st and Ritter. They say he had a gun in the waistband of his shorts. And when you look at the video, you can see it right there in the pictures. When Williams walked out of the gas station, the video shows detectives coming up to him wearing vests, and their vests had the word police on them. Now the video. It shows Williams running back inside the gas station, and detectives followed. Officers told people inside the store to get out. And you can hear on the surveillance video that IMPD officers told Williams to put his hands up. Put your 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 hands up. The video shows that Williams did not comply with detectives orders. Detectives then decided to call the canine inside the store. At that decision, that's when Williams pointed the gun toward detectives. And again, we've stopped the video here. This is the moment before the officers shot and killed Williams. No one else was hurt. Detectives who are working on the violent crimes unit were not issued body cameras during this time. And this incident is still under investigation. We have also learned now since then that the gun that Williams pulled on the detectives there has been traced to three different crimes. IMPD says a national crime database matched the gun to a double homicide in August of this year, a homicide and another shooting in June of 2020, and also linked to a hit and run with shots fired in June of last year. 